Welcome to the world of Game of Pods. This exciting software platform is all about codifying a culture of innovation. It emphasizes agile processes and a strong talent community to create better software outcomes for us and, of course, for our clients. Here's how it works. Once onboarded into Game of Pods, the main space for every member is the My Community interface. Here, we get to the heart of the platform and what it can do for an organization like ours. In complex global organizations with many team members covering many skill sets, it's important to keep people not just connected to their day-to-day -day work, but also to peers within their skill set. That's what the My Community space within Game of Pods provides to a global team. As a member of a talent community, like our QA community in this case, Game of Pods provides you with a space to do some very cool things. Have an idea that you've been chewing on and want to share? Game of Pods is a space to share. Post thought leadership for your community to engage with and build up your brand while training peers. Or call events. Schedule a time, invite community members, and the platform will even alert your team before the event to make sure they show up. Or maybe there's a bigger upscaling you want to help your team with. With quests, Game of Pods lets community members create guided journeys and challenges for their peers. Things like training, collaborative problem solving, mentoring initiatives, and more may be managed with quests. Each quest has objectives, milestones, content, and validation at the end that community members or even pods can sign up for and complete. Completion of quests supports individual skills profile growth while making all of our community stronger. Collectively, these things are how Game of Pods helps us nurture community and upskill together leveraging everybody's expertise and in-project learnings for the common good. Now, the platform isn't just about community support, though. In their project work, our community members work within delivery teams, which we call pods. Pods aren't just clunky groups of people. They're agile teams that have processes, ceremonies, and common KPIs that are meant to guide their work and drive outcomes fast. When pods first form on a client project, they need to begin setting these things up and maturing as a pod. Game of Pods guides the pods on that maturity journey. The pod's maturity path is unique to each pod. It gets set up through formalized goals that keep the pod constantly evolving. A big goal here is to motivate and drive continuous improvement for the team. Over time, as pods deliver their product and achieve goals within the platform, their maturity level reaches a point of leveling up this is where what we call mitosis happens. And the pod grows in team members as we take on more product ownership or work with our client. This is all made possible by targeting success, achieving success, and showing success, all of which the platform supports. Badges within the platform help us to recognize that progress and reward pod members or the pod itself for great work. Each award promotes agile best practices and behaviors that foster our continuous push for excellence. The award history view showcases the pod's achievements across the organization. In order to keep the focus heavily on driving outcomes for our client's business, each pod will tailor their KPIs accordingly and report metrics in an organized and simple manner that the client understands. It's not only about the metrics. You can observe and analyze the pod's strengths, like we see here. This pod is really versed in developer best practices and project management, but we see room for improvement when it comes to innovation and performance. By seeing strengths and weaknesses, which we just call areas for improvement, this view helps the teams to raise red flags ahead of time to allow for course correction. If we aren't performing as fast as we want or with the level of code quality that we want or any other kind of metric that's important to the team or to the client, Game of Pods makes that clear. Then the team can set a plan to get back on track. Finally, the awards collection is a place where we've codified agile best practices and are empowering individuals and pods to carve their own paths. There are badges and trophies that can be earned for great work, but they also show platform users things that they can do to work better as teams or grow as individuals. Think of them like challenges. Want this or that badge? See how you earn it and take next steps to get there. Our pod leaderboard shows pods how they're performing in terms of experience points earned in the platform compared to other delivery teams around the company. Just a bit of healthy competitive motivation. The pods love it. Game of Pods is also getting a marketplace for redeeming all those badges and trophies in ways that often complement the system itself. 
Often based on their talent community, pods and individuals will redeem points for things like books, conferences, and third-party certifications related to their own domain. Imagine being able to get signed up for one of the leading Agile project management certifications after doing great work and helping your community in Game of Pods. This is a big boost to your career and to your impact on the team. It's good for all of us. It's all about completing the circle, from delivery to talent development to helping that talent grow through the points they earn and redeem in the platform. Game of Pods codifies a great ecosystem of software development. These are some of the core features currently found for our community members and the pods using this amazing platform. Stay tuned for what comes next.